Let us continue our discussion of Claisian condensations by examining the role of solvent and the base. Now, it is important to select solvents and bases that will avoid unwanted side products. And improper base selection will result in either transesterification or saponification. So just to illustrate that, we will review I, each of these reactions. So in transesterification, if we were to choose a different base than our alkyl group on the ester, then we could have a transesterification reaction. And this would lead us to generate more than one product. Similarly, if we chose sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide as a base, then we would saponify the ester, and that effectively removes that alkyl group. So either of these should be avoided. Instead, what we should use for this particular ester is a base that corresponds to this alkyl group. So we should use sodium ethoxide because this is an ethyl group. And we should also use ethanol as our solvent. And if you recall back to when we did Williamson ether synthesis or some of these other synthesis, then you'll understand why. Because if we chose a different solvent than ethanol that could be deprotonated, right, a different alcohol, then what will happen is a scrambling of the base in between the various alcohols that are possible and effectively will generate in situ this base if we were in methanol, say, from the sodium uh, ethoxide because we could just simply deprotonate one of the other alcohols. That would also lead to a different um, product. And so just in general, when we're looking at these uh, choices, we'll have some R group over here for that part of the ester. And for now, that's not as important other than the fact that we will need alpha hydrogens on this R group, two of them at minimum. But for now, let's turn our attention to the alkyl group. The, the conditions for this should be uh, the alkoxide corresponding to the alkyl group. And if you're to use an alcohol solvent, which is a green choice, alcohols are generally, uh, when we can, a good choice for solvent, then make sure that you're choosing the same alkyl group on our um, alcohol. That is all important to avoid generating additional products. Now, it may seem like the alkyl group is less important than the uh, alkanoate group, and 
I suppose to a certain extent that is true, since that there will be two of the uh, alkanoate groups incorporated into the collagen condensation product. However, there is still one um, alkyl group on the product, and we would like to avoid a combination of multiple products, especially since those products will have very similar properties and be difficult to separate.